Hi guys! I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to cream and powder contour. Keep in mind this is not something you're going to be wanting to do on a daily basis or even a weekly basis. It is very unhealthy for your skin and it clogs your pores so much. This is only something that you're really going to want to do on occasion, like for photo shoots, a night out, whatever. But just keep in mind. And this is my first video, so I would very, very appreciate it if you guys would give me feedback, positive, negative, whatever. So yeah, I guess we'll just get started. I've already primed my face using the L'Oreal's Magic Perfecting Base Primer. So the first step you're going to want to do is take a concealer brush just like this. And you're going to take that concealer brush to apply a shade from a concealer correcting palette. It doesn't matter what palette. And it's going to want it to be about two shades lighter than your actual skin tone. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And you're going to start from under your eye to the top of your ear right here. A little bit above your ear. I'm going to start off by making a V formation. So I'm going to drag this along the side of my nose and then bring it up all the way up here. Once you've done that, just fill in that upside down triangle that you've just applied. Now we're going to go on and do that to the other side. It should look a little something like this. Now you're going to take that same shade and bring it down the bridge of your nose. Just like this. And then bring it up to your forehead. If you have a smaller forehead, you're going to want to make this highlight bigger and more exaggerated. But if you have a bigger, more larger forehead, you're going to want to make this highlight smaller. It's going to give the effect that your forehead is smaller than it really is. And if you have a small forehead, it's going to make the effect that it's bigger than it really is. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to the chin. And you're going to want to start off in the middle of your chin. Don't go right under your lip because we're going to contour right there. I'm just going to make a triangular figure, starting from the middle of my chin going down. And then I'm going to bring that all the way up to the bottom of my ear. And just progressively make that line a little thicker than it is. Now we're going to go in and highlight around the red spots under your nose. And your cupid's bow. The reason why we're highlighting that is because throughout the day the red spots start to show through your foundation mostly around this area. The last area we're going to highlight is right under the brow bone. As well as your eyelid. Not the whole eyelid, just the bottom part of it. <laughs> Once you're finished, it should look a little something like this. The lighting is extremely bright and I apologize for that, but hopefully later when you're finished you can see the results better. Now after highlighting, you're going to want to go in with a shade that is two shades darker than your original skin tone. So I'm just taking this MAC Conceal and Correcting Palette in medium, and I'm going to go in with this color right here. In the first place we're going to apply that is from your lip all the way to the middle of your ear. So pretend that there's a line going from the center of your lip to the middle of your ear. And you're just going to drag that all the way down. Make sure that you don't make this contour too low on your face because the higher it is, the more defined your cheekbones are going to look and the higher your cheekbones are going to appear. You're going to want to slowly progress this contour from the middle of your ear to the top of your ear. Make sure that the line is thicker on this end than it is right here. You're going to want to make kind of like a very narrow triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to blend it out anyway. Just try your best. Now we're going to contour the forehead. So literally, just draw like a rainbow from one side of the top of your temple, not the middle. You're going to want to keep this part open. 
all the way to the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and contour your jawline. So you're going to want to go from like a little bit behind your ear and make a straight line down. Bring it all the way to your chin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little triangle right here and the middle of your chin. Now we're going to go ahead and contour the nose. So just very lightly make a straight line on the side of your nose, just like this. Contouring your nose gives the effect that it's longer, more narrow, shorter, whatever. And then make sure you do the front part of it as well. Then when you bring it up to your eyelids, don't do it right under your brow bone. Do it kind of in the middle, just like this. Wow, this lighting is terrible. I'm so sorry. Next, you're just going to take a little bit and put it under your lip. This gives the effect that there's more shadow under your lip, making them appear bigger. I apologize for the lighting and the awful glare, but this is what it should look like in the end. Now you're going to want to take a flat foundation brush just like this and go in with that lighter color that you used before. All we're going to do in this step is cover the places that we haven't covered with the highlight already. And we're just going to fill in the rest of your face with that color. Once you've completely covered the rest of your face with the highlight, you're just going to take that same foundation brush and you kind of want to wipe off the excess from the highlight. And you're going to use this brush to blend the contour. So I'm going to start off with my jawline and just slowly push in and out. After a while, it takes a little bit of time, but it will blend out, I promise. When you're contouring your forehead, you're going to want to bring it down as well as back to your scalp. With your nose, you're just going to want to drag it down, not upwards, because you're going to want to keep the middle part of your nose highlighted at all times. Oh, this lighting is so terrible. I can't even see it. Now you can take any powder foundation brush, I'm going to use this more tapered one, and I'm going to set my whole face with a translucent powder. The reason I'm setting with a translucent powder instead of regular powder is because this is a medium to full coverage foundation as it is for the base, and I just want it to look as less cakey as possible. All the translucent powder does is cover up the oily look and sets it in place. For the translucent powder, I used Revlon's Photo Ready Translucent Powder. Using my NARS Eda brush, I'm going to contour my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to go in with this color here in the bottom middle in font. And again, you're going to want to remember that imaginary line from your lips to the top of your ear, and you're going to follow that while you're contouring. Keep in mind that this is a very, very thin brush, and the thinner brush you use to contour, the more dramatic the look is going to come out. You can honestly use, you know, a brush like this, or a tapered brush like this to contour. It really doesn't matter, 
but I tend to like my looks to be more dramatic when I'm cream contouring because that's really the purpose you're going for when you cream contour. Next, I'm going to go in with Milani's Blush and Luminoso in a stippling brush. When you apply your blush, you want it to be right above the contour, not too high up, just right above the contour. Now I'm going to highlight my face using Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Bomb and another stippling brush. This one is a little longer than the one I just used. And I'm going to highlight my T-zone. When I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose, I just like to squish my brush like that and plop it right in the middle so it gets more precision. And you're going to want to highlight your cupid's bow as well as your chin. Once you've applied blush and highlighter, it should look like this. Now, so that my face doesn't look so freaky, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and the end result should look a lot better. This is the ending result of my makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it and feedback is much appreciated. Thank you.